Hey guys, <clears throat> so I'm just uh, signing some of my points here, and um, I figured I'd make a short video of showing how I do it and what I use. I think I may have did a did this on a video before, but I'm going to do it again. So I get these at Staples uh, Office Supply. They're called. Uh, Pigma Micron. And uh, these, I think, come, it comes in a three pack 0208 and 005. So they've got kind of like a large, medium, and small. I use this fine one on my on my smaller stuff, and I use this medium sized one a lot. This O2, but on the real small stuff, when I just do my initials and the year, I'll do the zero zero five. But they work really well. Um, the ink dries fairly fast. I usually have a fan going i'm usually in a hurry on my way to the post office when i do this <laughs> but uh anyhow i'll show you how i do it first of all i take some uh, denatured alcohol or uh, fingernail polish remover or acetone or anything like that would work but i use this denatured alcohol for a lot of stuff painter also so it works well to clean up like epoxies and stuff too believe it or not but uh, anyhow I'll go through and I'll and I'll wipe them all down of course if you if you're gonna put like any kind of mineral oil or any kind of treatment on the on the surface of the work piece of the point or like beeswax or something like that you know you want to sign it first before you do that obviously <clears throat> so just just go through and wipe them down that'll get any dirt or grease from your hands off of it Pretty horn or uh, Buffalo River chert here. I got off Seth Carl, Tennessee. Isn't that pretty. All right. So yeah, these are all hornstone. This one's Flint Ridge, and that one's Buffalo River. This is all hornstone that I gathered uh, just recently. Okie doke. So we're gonna do the medium size one which is the O2 and I usually uh, will sign what I would consider the B side you know I try to try to make my stuff with with two A sides but it never works out like that you know there, there's always a B side so I would probably display this one with all that color on the on this side so I'll sign the back and on the larger stuff, I'll go ahead and sign, just find a flat spot on here and I've been signing my full name here recently. So by the time I get, get these other ones signed, I can come back and put the clear coat on the signature there. Kind of like both sides on this one. I'll just sign it right here. Okay. 
I'm gonna step down to the finer one. I'll show you guys. This is the one. I actually use this one more than I do the medium one. So this is a really fine tip. Ooh, I've got a fingernail hinge over here. It's kind of unique the way it hung on there. I was gonna try to pop it off, but if I do, it'll leave a step fracture all the way around, so I'll just I'll sign my big old fingernail hinge here. <laughs> uh, and this ink shows up surprisingly well on darker colored shirts. Some of the smaller ones, I'll just put my first initial. My last name in the year. This is kind of a chocolate brown color. So now we know the surface is nice and clean, the ink is adhered well, and it's started to dry, should be dry, on the ones I started on here. And then, now, for this step, you want to turn your fan off if you got one blowing on you. And take your, this is just clear fingernail polish, Sally Hansen to dry so it dries really fast you can see how much I've used almost a half a bottle of it but uh, it does dry real fast and once you get it on there you can turn the fan back on and, and let the air circulate over it and it'll it'll dry pretty quick so I don't wipe it all off I'll just give it a little swipe on the edges there And then you want to do it kind of quick and with purpose because it will dry very fast and it'll streak. It'll try to pull on you. If you feel it start tacking up and pulling, you need to re-wet your brush or uh, get out of the the air, if there's any air movement. And it does take a few minutes for the ink to dry. If you're not careful, it'll, it'll smear the ink and you'll see it pull in when you Let's go over here and do this one. I think this one will take two swipes. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that, that dries on there and it, it gets kind of shiny. But if the customer wants to remove it, you know, all they can need to do is just get some fingernail polish remover or some alcohol or whatever and a solvent or whatever and uh, wipe it off there. So it's not that big a deal to, to get rid of it, you know, if they want to. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's a nice, good way to assign your points. I got this idea from uh, the Jack Crafty channel on YouTube. Patrick Blank. So it works real well. 
Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll catch you on the next one.